I'm Leonard Pfeiffer, I'm a furniture designer, and this is my minibar. So today we're going to put together the minibar step by step, and I hope you find this helpful. So we've laid out all the components from the box. Now in the box also, there's also a bag of fixtures. Um, in that bag is also this little guy, which is a, a hex head or allen tool. Um, now the other tools that you will need that aren't supplied is a, a cross head or Phillips head screwdriver, as well as a, a small hammer or mallet. Importantly, the assembly instructions We'll take you through step by step, and we've based this video guide around the assembly instructions as well, so you can kind of refer to both of them as you go. Right, let's get started. Right, so let's look at the fittings we need for the first stage. The, this is a, a wooden dowel, this is a short cam pin, a long cam pin, which is used just for the legs. Um, and then some felt stoppers for the underside of the legs. Right, so we're going to start with the base panel, or in the instructions, panel A. Uh, panel A needs um, eight dowels, and we're going to knock those in with the hammer. Uh, an important thing before we start, this is a dowel hole, and this is a cam hole, and you can tell the difference because of the the cutout for the cam here. So we're just going to knock the, the dowels into the dowel holes. I'm not using any force. Just... Right, so we've got the dowels in the base panel and now we're going to put the dowels in all the other panels. So this is panel B. We've got the dowels in already um, and now we're going to put the cam pins in. We're using the short cam pins. Um, this is a long cam pin, and that's used for the leg. So we're going to put that aside. We'll, we'll need the crosshead screwdriver and the cam pin screw into these small holes. Right, so that's panel B finished, and we'll go on now to the other panels. Okay, we're going to put the fixings into the legs now. Um, at the bottom of the legs, we're using the smaller cam pins, um, and at the, the top here, we're using the longer cam pins. You can see that they're two different sizes. So we need two for that side, and two for this side. Now we're screwing into solid oak, so it's going to be a little bit trickier um, than screwing into the, the panels earlier. Actually, it's not so bad. It's pretty easy still. So into the bottom go the smaller, shorter cam pins. And then the long ones up here. Right, so the the cam pins are in. Next, we'll put the, the felt pads onto the bottom of each leg, just in the middle of the, the leg. Okay, so that one's done, and we'll just repeat that again for the other side. Right, and finally, we're gonna pop a couple of dowel in each end of the, the leg stretcher. So now we've got all of the cam pins and the dowels in all of the panels, and so we can start the assembly. 
Now I'm going to assemble the panels for the box. Right, so now we're ready to assemble the panels. We're going to position the panels over at the, each other and then tighten it with the eccentric cam and then pop a cap on that cam like that, but in the wood. Okay, so we're going to assemble the flap first. That's using pieces G and piece F. The, um, the cam pins line up with the holes here, and then the dowels line up with the, the dowel holes. So we can position this above. Just give it a bit of a, bit of a tap. And now, we're going to put the cam in. They simply slide into place. And now that the cams are in, we'll tighten them using the hex head tool. And it takes about half a turn, just under half a turn. Don't over tighten them because you can break them. You just feel it tightening and then that's tight enough. And while we're here, we'll pop the cam cap on. That just hides the, the cam underneath. Right, that's the first flap. Let's get the other one done. Great, so now we're going to assemble the, the, the box um, so we, we'll start with the base panel, panel A, um, and have, we've got two end panels, panel C. Um, make sure that the holes are on the bottom. So again, our cam pin slips into the hole. We just press that together, and then we use the cam goes into the hole and then we tighten that. Now because it's on the bottom that doesn't get a cap. Let's do this other end. Right, now we're going to assemble panel B, which are the side panels. Now again, the um, the cams just fit, the cam pins just fit into the holes, and then it just presses together. Now it's time to work on the legs. Right, the cams will slip just into the hole and now the leg presses into position. I'll just turn this over to do the cams up. Right, so we're using the, the grey cams again. Right. We're going to um, put this leg in position, but we're not going to do it up yet. So we'll just let it sit there, and now we'll put the stretchers on. So again, the holes facing toward the floor, and this just pushes into position. So we do the top and the bottom at the same time. There we are, and now on this side, all goes together as one. Right. So we're going to put cams into the bottom, um, the little cams. Now let's attach the 
the flaps. For the final stage, we just need the hinges, the screws and the um, dampeners. Um, with the hinges, so we need to open the, all of the hinges up so we can screw them into position. To start with the hinges, just pop them in position. Um, they need to go onto the outside face, not, not like this. To attach the hinges, we're going to use these long screws and they simply screw into position. Now it's time to assemble the flaps. With the hinges attached to the flap, um, the flap will just sit in position on the side of the minibar, like this. And then using the same type of screws, we can screw now the hinges onto the, the cabinet of the minibar. The final step is to attach the little dampening buttons um, and they go just into the holes at the top and they just press in with your finger. And there we have it, we've got a mini bar. So, thanks for your interest, and we'll see you next time.